Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kipatcher.com out here to bring you an update on my Buren 180 Upper by Brownells in 762 by 39. Since that initial outing or two outings over the course of 24 hours, I've since taken this out to the range, I want to say four more times, including this morning, trying to largely isolate variables. That first time to the range, that was totally on me. The lower I was using did not have like a extra power hammer spring, which 762 by 39 needs just because largely hard military primers. After that, I switched to another upper that had a Geisley and it was igniting. But the problem I started running into was it would, I'd fire through and then the bolt would lock back. It would not lock back on the magazine, it would actually lock back on the bolt catch, which was weird. I ended up going out again, and on that next outing, repeated that. Like this is weird. And then I decided to bring out a couple more different lowers. So heading back out to the range and still running into that issue with, I guess, the one initial lower and not having it with my Sons of Liberty Gunworks lower. Target filled in. Then third trip out to the range. Ended up doing a bunch of shooting with, I believe three different lowers, Sons of Liberty Gunworks. The, like, I wanna say that one with the Geisley trigger, the first one I ended up using. I think that one's made by Sun Devil or something like that. And then my Sugar Weasel low receiver. And ended up shooting a bunch with all of those.
shooting suppressed as well as unsuppressed and I ended up actually running into that same issue, locking back on the bolt catch with the whatever that built one from Sun Devil. And then also ended up running into that same issue with my Sugar Weasel low receiver. back again on the bolt catch. And something else weird with the Sugar Weasel lower receiver is occasionally the magazines would get overseeded, which I've had that before with a BRN 180. I wanna say it was on one of the uh, KP15 by KE Arms, one of those polymer lowers, but it ended up happening also with that Sugar Weasel low receiver. I don't know. Again, came out this morning, trying yet another low receiver my 762 by 39 pistol by radical firearms which speaking of issues i went through all of them with that as well i believe i had to send it back twice got back to me that third time and it's run flawlessly since but threw that low receiver on here shot it through suppressed as well as unsuppressed and again ended up running into that same issue of it locking back Again, not on the magazine itself, but a little bit further back on the actual bolt catch. Magazine three, again, locked back on the bolt catch. So what does all this mean? I have no idea. I'm not a gun doctor. I will say across the board, Brownells has been super helpful. Same with PWS, who I believe actually makes these uppers. And when this thing runs, it runs sweet, both on suppressed as well as unsuppressed. I will say when I don't have a can on here with the cherry bomb, pretty blasty. And to date, the one low receiver that this has ran flawlessly on has actually been the Sun Celebrity Gunworks. And I don't know. I have no idea. Again, trying to isolate variables. And it could very well be just this particular upper receiver. You're like, don't they test them before they go? Yeah, they probably do. And most companies will test fire like three to five rounds or something like that. So it may well be just something with this. Like I said, Brownells and PWS has been really helpful. They're actually sending out a second upper receiver as well as some C products mags, I think. The ones I've been using have been ASC, ammunition storage component or something, ASC max. And again, trying to just isolate variables why this only works with that one upper receiver i don't know and yeah we'll see what happens but when i get that other one and ultimately end up shooting pretty much the same ammo with maybe different magazines on all those same lowers i will get back to you but this is the journey so far and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com Look forward to seeing you next time.